Welcome to the channel! Before we get into the video, please like, subscribe, and tap the bell to be notified when I drop future videos. I'm gonna take you on my journey to see what happens when I put 100 pounds of peanut butter on a mountain. Let's go! Here I am at Walmart, picking up the five pound jars of Skippy peanut butter. It's gonna take 20 jars. So I had to go to three different Walmarts to find them all. So after scaling the mountain four times with 25 pounds of peanut butter on my back each trip and 2400 feet above sea level, I'm a little out of breath, but I think this spot will do just fine. At this point, I'm becoming increasingly concerned because I cannot feel the toes on my right foot and I'm just trying to get this peanut butter out of these jars as fast as I possibly can so I can get down the mountain and thaw my toes out. I'll speed up the process right here. This is 100 pounds of peanut butter on a mountain. Day two, we had some incredible winds. A branch broke off and landed on top of the pile, and the trail cam is just shaking back and forth on the tree it's attached to. This is the northern flying squirrel, the larger of the two flying squirrel species found in this area, the other being the southern flying squirrel. Flying squirrels are amazing. These guys can leap 150 feet and reach speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. That's incredible. But they don't fly like the name suggests. They glide using a membrane-like parachute called a patagium. These guys are nocturnal, so they're rarely ever seen. I was so lucky to catch one on my trail camera. This is the American Red Squirrel. These squirrels are fiercely territorial. This one is sounding the alarm because another squirrel has entered his territory. Instead of standing his ground and battling the intruder, he's like, I don't want no part of this guy and runs away. Again and again, they chase each other. Even a hungry blue jay was quickly chased off. I 
I don't think he was phased too much by the squirrel's aggression, because he soon came back, biding his time to get his beak on some of that peanut butter. Even as the red squirrel feeds, he always has an eye on the blue jay. You can understand the need to battle over this abundant food source. This is probably going to last them the entire winter and then some. The other red squirrel is always lurking nearby. For the rest of day three, these guys were pretty entertaining. Sometimes sneaking back onto the pile of peanut butter for a quick bite to eat then swiftly being chased off by the other squirrel. When the coast is clear, the blue jay is able to sneak back in and get his beak on some of that peanut butter. But it's short lived because the red squirrel soon discovers him and chases him off. Finally, the blue jay gets the last laugh, spooking the red squirrel and scaring him away. This is the American Martin. This guy, he just jumped right in front of the trail camera. Oh man, I was so lucky to catch that on camera. Just leaps right into the scene. These guys primarily feed on small rodents and voles, so it's pretty cool to see that he has a taste for peanut butter. And just as soon as he jumps into the scene, he jumps right back out of it. Night four, and he's back at it. Only this time, he brought his appetite. Martins can be found far and wide, in the northern United States, across all of Canada, as well as Alaska. His sharp teeth allow him to easily bite off chunks of frozen peanut butter. A lot of times martins are trapped for their furs so hopefully this guy doesn't end up a fur coat and lives a long happy life up in the mountains they're a solitary species only coming together to breed in the midsummer breeding season and giving birth the following spring normally having litters of one to five kits males being typically much larger than the females For the rest of night four, he pretty much laid on top of the pile and ate and ate and ate. I mean, he feasted. I have so much footage of him just eating peanut butter for hours. I bet if I come back in the spring, I'm going to find a very fat and happy Martin. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And that's the last footage I have of the Martin. There he goes, deep into the forest, never to be seen again.